All right, so let's say that you got a track stack, but you decide, you know what, I don't want uh, one or two tracks or however many tracks in this track stack anymore. You want it to be an individual track because you want to put different effects on it, or you want to take a couple tracks out of the track stack and put them in a track stack of their own. So we can do that pretty easily. So I'm in a project here, and this time we have a track stack on track one. So if I- Track one instruments, group. So you see that's track one, and then if I go down to the next track, track 11 vocal verse, group. You see that's track 11. So everything from tracks two to 10 is inside of this track one instruments, group. Track stack here on track one. So once again, the key command to open or close a track stack if you're using the Logic Keyboard Ninja key commands is option accent. So if it's collapse, option accent will open it. If it's open, option accent will collapse it. So I'm gonna hit option accent and open up this track stack. Track two, piano two, group. So now you see we got track two. Track three, drums, group. Track four, hi-hat, group. Track five, French horn. Track six, trumpet, group. Track seven, violin. Track eight, connecting violin. Track nine, viola, group. Track ten, cello, group. Track eleven, vocal verse, group. And there you see we're back on track 11, the vocal verse. So everything from tracks two to 10 is inside this track stack. So now let's say I want to get the drums out of this track stack because I want to set up a different uh, track stack for the, the drums and the hi-hats. Now, normally if you just want to move one track out, you just need to go to that track and then do VO comma to mark that track for drag and drop. Use VO up and down arrow to move it onto the track. You want to move it above and once you do that, hit VO period to let go of it, and that will do the trick nine times out of 10. In this case, we gotta make sure we move it to the first track that's outside of the track stack. So we have to put it on track 11 or above before we can drop it. Also, this time we wanna also move two tracks. So we're gonna go ahead and select those two tracks that we wanna move. So I'm gonna go back up to the drum track. Track 10 cello, group, track nine viola, group, track eight connect, track seven, five, track six, tr track five, track four hi-hat, track three drums, group. All right, so there we go, track three drums. So I'm gonna do VO command return to select that drum track. Track three drums, group added to selection, one item selected. And if I do VO down arrow. Track four hi-hat, group. I'm gonna do VO command return. Track four hi-hat, selected, group added to selection, two items selected. So now we got those two tracks selected. So now if I do VO comma, that will mark these two tracks for drag and drop. Selection mark for drag and drop. And now if I do VO down arrow. Track five, fret, track six, trumpet, group, track seven, violin, track eight, connecting violin, track nine, viola, track 10, cello, group, track 11, vocal verse, group. All right, so I'm on the vocal track. So now, because this is the first track outside of the track stack, if I drag them here, they will be outside of the track stack. So I'm gonna hit VO, period. Dragging selection. Logic Pro Busy. Selection dropped on track 11 vocal verse. All right, and it says selection drop on track 11. Track 10 hi-hat, selected, group. So there we go, track 10 is hi-hat. Track 9 drums, selected, Track 9 group. is drums. Track 8 cello, group. And now track 8 is cello. So if I do option accent to collapse this track stack again, now that I'm on the last track in a track stack, which is the cellos, let me do that again, because that just cleared the selection the first time. Track 7 viola, group. Track 1 instruments. Track 13, harmony for verse 2. Group. Track 12, harmony for verse 1. Group. And you see kicked us further down the track. I'm just going to jump to the top of your home. Track 1, instruments. Group. And you see track 1 is still instruments. Track 9, drums. Group. Track 9 is now drums. Track 10, hi-hat. Group. And track 10 is now the hi-hats. All right. So now that we got the drums and the hi-hats here, let's say I want the drums and the hi-hats to be the first two tracks in the project. Now, the nice thing about having that track stack collapse, that is track 1, is we can just mark that single track for drag and drop and then move it to below them and drop it and now the drums and the hi-hats will be the first two tracks in the project so i'm going to go back up to track one here track nine drums group track one instruments group all right so we're back on this instrument track stack so if i do vo comma track one instruments marked for drag and drop and i'm going to use vo down arrow track nine drums group track 10 hi-hat group track 11 vocal verse group there we go vocal verse i'm going to drop it there so vo period dragging track one instruments Track, track three instruments. All right, and there we go. So instruments is now track three. Track three instruments, group. Track two, hi-hat, group. Track two is hi-hat. Track one, drums, group. And track one is the drums. So that's how you can drag stuff out of a track stack. And the same thing applies. Let's say I want to keep the drums out, but I want to put the hi-hats back in a track stack. I can go ahead and open this track stack. So I'm going to go to track three. Track two, hi-hat, group. Track three instruments, group. So I'm going to open this track stack. So I'm going to do option accent. Track four, piano two, group. track three, instruments, group. And let's go grab this hi-hat track. Track two, hi-hat, group. So, VO, comma. Track two, hi-hat, marked for drag and drop. 
Mark that for drag and drop. Now let's go down here. Drag three and track four piano to track five French horn. Group. Let's put it above the French horn. So I'm going to do real period. Dragging track two hi hat. Track two hi track four hi hat. All right. So now the hi hat is track four. Track four hi hat. Group. Track three piano two. Group. It's right after the piano. Track two instruments. Group. So now look what happened. I'm um, back on instrument, which is a track stack. So if I do option accent to now once again close or collapse this track stack. When I go down, track eleven vocal verse group. Next track is a vocal track. Track two instruments group. And the track above it is instrument track. If I go up, track one drums group. You see, track one is the drums. So the i hats are now back in that track stack. So to take something out of a track stack, you just select the items you want. You use voiceover drag and drop to drag them to something that's outside of track stack. So drag them to the first track that's outside of the track stack and that will drag them out of your track stack. And if you wanna put something in a track stack, you just drag it to any track in a track stack, either the second to last track in a track stack or above, just to make sure that it gets placed in that track stack. And once you do that and drag it in, it will then be a part of the track stack. So that's how you can take things in and out of a track stack. All right. so. What if we want to get rid of one? Let's say we created this track stack and we're like, you know what? I don't really need this track stack anymore. Um, I want to do something different here. You can easily get rid of a track stack and the key command to do that is command shift U. I believe this is a default logic key command. So this should work if you're using the default logic key commands or the logic keyboard ninja key command. All right. So uh, first you need to select a track stack you want. So I'm just going to do VO down and up. Track 11 vocal verse, group. Track three instruments, group. So this instrument one, you see it goes from three to 11. So this is a track stack. And once again, you can open the track stack. You can expand it with option accent. So if I hit option accent, you'll see now. Track four piano two, track five French horn, group. You know, track four, track five. If I collapse it once again with option track accent. Track three instruments. You see it goes back to track three. Track 11 vocal verse, group. Vocal verse Track three 11. instruments, group and track three is instrument. So if you want to get rid of this track stack, you can just do command shift U. Track three piano two. You see now we have track three is piano two. Track four French horn. Track group. four French track horn. Track three track two hi hat group. The track stack is no longer there. So command shift U will get rid of the track stack for you. Thanks for checking this out. And thanks to Sarin for letting me use her project. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by making a donation at paypal.me slash logic.band. Link in the description below. You can also get some one-on-one -on -one training if you want to dive deep in any of these topics surrounding logic. Or if you're new to Mac and want to get up to speed with voiceover. You can visit logic.band slash training for some one-on-one -on -one tutoring. And once again, there is a link to that in the description below. Also, don't forget to check the description below for a link to relevant tutorials here on YouTube and or to the blog on logic.band that has some supplemental information for this tutorial. Hope you found that useful and helpful. Please feel free to like and subscribe and share this with someone you know who's new to Logic and voiceover. As always, everyone, until next time, happy recording.